But here we are on a grouse moor. We've got a vast area around us when we look around. I mean, you would think this would be a perfect place for hen harriers to breed. They, they should be here in some numbers. Oh, yes. Um, as somebody who's bird watched most of his life on moorland, a moorland's almost, well, it's not quite alive if it hasn't got hen harriers, if it hasn't got peregrines. You know, it's, it's really only half the ecology is here. This is a bit of a black hole for hen harriers though, isn't it? It really is a black hole. It's the sort of place that if you were a hen harrier, you wouldn't really want to be. What sort of numbers are we talking about here? We're talking about four birds with satellite tags and there have been 15 nesting attempts on this estate since 2000. And levels of illegal persecution are therefore pretty high? Most, yes, most of those nests have failed because of the disappearance of the adults. Um, only four have been successful. There's no natural explanation for birds leaving a, a nest when it's either half built or a clutch is half incubated. And of course a rather famous hen harrier disappeared quite close to where we're standing today. Yes, Bolan Betty um, was found dead um, about two kilometres to the north of where we're standing on this estate. And tell me a bit about the story of that particular bird. Bolan Betty was a bird that was reared in the forest of Boland and in her first winter she actually wintered in this area and she was quite frequently by the satellite tag shown to be on this estate. In the following spring she went back to the forest of Boland, decided for some reason it wasn't for her and went north eventually finding her way into Scotland, probably couldn't find a mate there, turned around, went back to Boland, came back here and her signal um, was static. People came to investigate and they found her dead. She'd been uh, shot, um, a pellet had nicked her in the leg and she had actually bled to death. And not a very nice end for a, a very nice bird. And what was the public reaction? I mean, certainly in this area. The public reaction was quite strong. There were quite a number of people who were very upset about it. One local keeper was heard to brag in the local pub that it was him that had shot her. So in effect, we know who's bragged about yes. shooting the bird. Yes but nothing's been done about but it. But nothing's been done about it because there aren't enough witnesses. How would you describe this, this particular area in terms of the conservation value versus the levels of illegal persecution? The conservation value, I mean, this is a triple S high. It's part, of the, it's part of the North Pennines SPA, but in real terms, the conservation value is much degraded by the absence of predatory birds. Um, after all, the, the North Pennines SPA is in part designated for hen harriers. There should be 11 pairs of hen harriers between here and the northern part of that SPA. What's the solution? How can we get hen harriers back here breeding as they should be? There is only one solution and that's to ban driven grouse shooting.